How do you know it's the last part if you haven't read the walkthrough, Rick? <laughs> Don't worry, I have memorized. Good oh, wow. damn Shit! <laughs> Most people think they are from Crusher's radiation problem, but it's just a gross misuse of selected breathing. Just gotta smack him a few times. Just gotta smack him. Gonna put on this voice a bit more. Let's see options. Yep, and I'm nice. gonna turn off my fucking dryer. God, I need a cute wife to do my house cleaning and everything. <laughs> That's what you get. Welcome to the live art installation of the Forgotten Prodigy Children. Help yourself to the free voice. wine and nibblies <laughs> over there. Oh yeah, there. of course, wine. Hmm, let's see. We needed like a screwdriver around here, so the first things that we're gonna go is go to the hallway. We're gonna buy ourselves a screwdriver cupcake. Hello. I would like to purchase a cupcake, please. Sure, do you have cash, membership, or a coupon? Yes, actually, uh, this pig's membership card. Yes, believe in the coupon. Take your pick. My favorite is alkaline flavor. You guys do coupons in your store, Rick? Uh, we have membership cards that, like, uh, nice. gives you, like, extra points and shit like that. I never fucking uh, collected those, so I would rather, like, you know, uh, fuck membership A cards. fine choice, sir. <laughs> Although it's my fucking data, so they See, can, you know, extract more money from my wallet. Later. This isn't a I want to give me a fucking membership sure card, you're you earning less money. <laughs> I'm not sure that this is the greatest flavor, I don't but it's the probably the most practical of the three. Ah. Next was go to the lobby and take the bobblehead. Sorry, Billy. I need this. You probably shouldn't take that. I'm paid well, but not well enough to stop you physically. <laughs> you are not very good at your job, are you? Do you want to steal that or not? Uh, yes. This is why it fucking amazes me, actually, that uh, like uh, a gas station employee or something is actually gonna, you know, try to stop a thief. <laughs> like, go fuck yourself, I'm not getting stabbed over a fucking candy bar. <laughs> I'm for minimum wage! <laughs> Going down to the metal messiah. Metal messiah. Fuck, is that Tom Dankula's pub? Uh, pug? <laughs> oh, never mind, it's not doing the Z-Pal. <laughs> it's metal, Jesus! South American girl singer, right? Or something? I don't uh, remember. It, right, right. I, I don't remember it either, but I heard that's happened. No, fucking crazy. <laughs> and there's always like the part of the show where, where everybody believes like it's part of the act, right? They died too young. Let's I was see. a Swedish man. <laughs> oh, poor Swedish man. Let's see. I something. Hmm. Oh yeah, we should put on the head here and put it here. I feel like I should be sneakier than this. 
also using a confession box to take donation money. I Very feel like my moral compass is <laughs> getting worse the more I progress. Now get some little bit of whiskey. Yeah. Don't Make mind if I do. Mmm, that fresh vagabond smell that the ladies love. Oh, very nice. Oh, you poor soul. <clears throat> Take some donations immediately. Nice. <laughs> Cash money. You know that for the... The vending, for the vending machine, right? Yeah, get some seeds. Let's see if uh, we yeah. can actually... Oh, there we go. Oh, whoa. That's the developer com commentary. The scientist's like character is another example of me taking advantage of having no one telling me that I should do something. Thank you, Kickstarter, for allowing me to make these monstrosities. <laughs> <laughs> something I wanted to make for the longest time was the entrance of the glam metal plug in the room. I, I had that idea probably a whole year before I actually made it. <laughs> The most amazing the part casting for the glam metal night was game actually another one of those characters, which was quite difficult. <laughs> <laughs> one of those actors who auditioned just sounded like 20-somethings pretending to be an old lady who smoked 20 packs a day. I wanted the voice to be as realistic as possible and eventually ended up with the super talented Colleen Gallagher. On that note, she does not smoke 20 packs a day, but she can make herself sound like that. Oh, very nice. What I've enjoyed most about working on Paradigm has been all the different styles and genres that I had to compose for. So even though most of it is 60s, 70s and 80s electronic music, there are still some places in the game that uh, is very different from that. And the Church of Latter-day Glam is one of those places. Even though I used to listen to a lot of metal, I've never really been into glam and composing a glam metal ballad was a really fun challenge and I got to take out my guitar which I only do about once a year or so <laughs> Oh, glam metal is a real thing, I didn't even know that I thought that Oh was... yeah, it is Oh shit, nice It's those guys with fucking makeup with leopard pants with, uh, with fucking eyeliner and everything Like, you know, the... Uh, you know the crazy part of uh, metal music when it's weird off into everybody dressing like women? Yeah And after a while everybody's like, alright guys, this is getting too fucking far <laughs> And they just, you know... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, no, that makes sense. Welcome, my son, to oh, the yeah. Church of Latter Day Glam. I mean. May your hair be fabulous, your pants be tight, and your excess be excessive. What is it you ask of me? Uh, hmm. Your hair is glorious. Can I touch it? Are you a groupie? I can be. I don't think so, dude. Damn it! So close <laughs> to achieving pure <laughs> bliss. Oh, look at those cute little boots. I know you're trying to be demeaning, but yes, they are cute little boots. Comfortable too. Hmm. How did you become the messiah of a glam metal cult? Well, I was one of the world's most famous wrestlers a while back. My stick was that I was a singer from a glam metal band. My fame led to a life of excess, naturally. I did a lot of drugs. As you should and acquired be. acquired new diseases that people didn't even know existed. Ah, <laughs> very I got to name a few. It was pretty cool. Anyway, Whoa. long story short, I obliterated my body. <laughs> and here comes this duper genetics guy. And he offers me a new one if I run his glam metal cult. Cool. Who'd you're you not get a more chicks if you're you a have cult an leader? named after you. <laughs> what he failed to tell me is they or don't yet the have cult. the tech to grow me a new body. <laughs> So they put me in a pog temporarily. Brutal. Honestly, now I'm considering going half pog, half human for my final form. Well damn. What is it like being a pug? Pretty good. Get apes of belly rubs. Can finally lick my own balls. Ew. Downside is that I need to chase things. Cats, tennis balls, all the stereotypical stuff. What about chasing hoop dreams? What is this, a Nandos basketball movie? <laughs> to be honest, I won't even be mad. He's got really sharp teeth for a pug, man. Oh yeah, definitely. Probably could bite something. <laughs> uh, he's not careful with the ball licking. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? I've been awake for six months and have at least 50 illegitimate children being born next week. 
Do you have a weakness? <laughs> no. Have you seen how majestic I am? In dog form, I still retain my amazing air and tight bod. I get the bitches. Both kinds. Nice. What was your what wrestling you mean by that? Glorious <laughs> glam. The man with no plan. He wears a lot of cyan. His favorite pie is toucan. I'm guessing the only mm. naming prerequisites were alliteration and rhyme. And rightly so. Is there any other way? I don't know. What I do know is that toucan pie is delicious. Oh yeah. I know, right? Everyone hates it, but I adore it. Never tried it, but sure, I'll take your word for it. Hey man, What's uh, peaking, can I borrow way? your necklace I think it's real like quick? made of oh. those Why? peanuts. Yeah, just to get That's rid it. of Olaf so he doesn't murder me. I never Dude, tried it. I never it's my primary it. source of income. You hear those reddicks saying, How am I, I supposed to afford this life pie. of excess if you kill him? <laughs> you think all this sex and drugs grows on trees? How about if I just pick some sexual favors from the local birch tree? Lick a big redwood for my Wednesday LSD trip. How about I tie a tree vine around my neck and hang from a tree while I mass... Actually, oh. that's a pretty good <laughs> idea. Anyway, no. No, you Were there a couple of celebrities that died from a similar thing, like the autoerotic asphyxiation? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being fucking found like that. What if I <laughs> challenge you to a hair off? You don't even have any air. I didn't think this through. What if I challenged you to compete with me in a dog show with esteemed celebrity judges? You're... you're not a dog. People tell me I'm a dog all the time. Yo, dog. What's up, dog? <laughs> what are you doing in my house, dog? I'm going to call the police, dog. <laughs> <laughs> what if I challenge you to a little bit of turn-based combat for it? Mm. Being a huge JRPG fan, I cannot refuse. What do I get if I win? I'll condition your hair every six hours. You know how to tickle my little dog nipples. Ew. Ugh. What's with everyone's obsession with nipples around here? Do male dogs have nipples? Ah, uh, unfortunately, yes. I never see them. <laughs> you think you can defeat me? <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. oh! Oh! yeah. Fun fact for anybody wondering, this works on a lot of humans as well. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs and lasers are funny. Turns out spending half my life procrastinating helped me out. Better go get that necklace or nothing. Nice. You just killed the messiah. Eh, he'll be fine. How does it feel to be a Judas? Eh. I expected more. I mean, Judas got the Romans to do the dirty work for him. Yeah, I expected it to be the like that Christ movie. That, that was real oh, nice. Oh fuck! It was just a one and a half, uh, like you know, a bit of like exposition explaining the plot, and like one and a half hours of Jesus getting tortured. <laughs> I Action know, of man. the Christ, man. <laughs> like I seriously, I, I hear people describing it like that as a joke. But I never actually seen it when I seen it, it's like, yeah, it's exactly like that. <laughs> 90 minutes of Jesus being tortured. Fuck. Oh. As much as it is a big waste of a delicious cupcake, I think this screwdriver will be more handy. I mean, a, a couple of centuries ago, seeing a movie, if, if, if it existed, it would have fucking ignited a religious war. <laughs> 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 Imagine showing that shit in the 16th century. <laughs> I will murder you if you try to wreck my performance oh. piece. Oh. <laughs> she kinda cute. <laughs> Hello, nutritious dirt. 
An apple a day keeps the lack of direction and student loans away. Oh. <laughs> Nutritious soil trademark. The only way to grow things in crush. Unless you want more strong. <laughs> <What the? laughs> okay, oh, man. What is this place? It's the hottest exhibition in all of Krush. It looks more like a dank dungeon prison to me. Yeah, to some regular art pleb like you. Come on. I like the Look bro. at the mood lighting. <laughs> definitely art hole Don't style. lie to me. Oh yeah, I bet That's she watches new green movies. <laughs> uh, all right, she all right. So it's smug. an art exhibition which happens to be in a dungeon prison where Duba Genetics keeps all its faulty prodigy children. Just between oh. you and me, I think some very rich art collectors are coming down here soon. People are starting to realize the appeal of dungeon prisoner art. Hmm. What did you do before you decided to take up uh, performance art? I was a prodigy at pen spinning. You know, that one kid who was always good at spinning the pen on his hand. Yeah, I know, pretty lame. The guy who ordered me was super mad that his university friend could do it, but he couldn't. So he commissioned me. Now I can't even look at pens without getting PTSD. I'm a prodigy child too, you know. An electronic music prodigy that is aiming to become the greatest in the world. Really? For commercial or deep and meaningful artistic reasons? Do you have rationale? Do you pleasure yourself over the sheer level of artistic intelligence that emanates from your head? I know I do. Yeah. I just uh, like the way some beeps and boops sound, I guess. Also, I would not be opposed to fat sticks. You mm. truly are a disgusting human being, YouTube Paradigm. Videos. Art is for the soul. <laughs> for stroking the ego. You, <laughs> you are not an artist. <laughs> now I see why you peeps are in a dungeon. I like making react videos, but I wouldn't mind getting some fat stacks. I want to sum that YouTube money, baby. <laughs> Can I give you a critique? No, you're wrong. I didn't say anything. Wrong! <laughs> Can I ask you my something wife? else? Sure. Preferably about me and my art, though. What is the meaning behind your performance art? You're supposed to interpret it yourself. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's too smart for anyone to guess. Especially a pleb like you. Ouch. Couldn't work it out in a million years. First, you need to know the context. All right, oh, so <laughs> me with this apple on my head represents the vegan industry caught up in its own philosophies. Also me in general feeling stuck. The skull above my head represents death looming above us. The party hat means that death sometimes can party, like when you party and almost overdose. Must However, there are a bunch of extra meanings. Zone I mean, out. That was just the synopsis. But I wonder if I'm Basically, gonna get an achievement for little bit more going closely, through this nightmare. There is some dirt you your here. How your day this was actually you represents for like, how you know, dirty ten minutes we are. She's busy when there I say we, I mean <laughs> i.e. you, with its uh, dirty and hypocritical morals. Damn, I'm on another plane of thinking. Oh, automatically. Oh, yeah. And that was the shortened summary. Uh, wait, what? Were you even listening? Uh, y yes. <laughs> wait, no achievement? Oh shit. I guess I could have pressed that button even f faster. Whatever. Who is uh, your favorite artist? Christoph Kandowski. Who? Why? The few people who have seen it still don't understand his art. <sighs> Creator it makes me so really? inspired. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> Have you considered he might just be mentally insane? And that's why his art is incomprehensible. Don't make me get my exacto blade out. I'll carve my initials on you and claim you as a living, breathing, eating art piece. My life is already an art piece of self-loathing, sloth, and gluttony. Christoph Kandowski. Mm. He doesn't exist. Yeah. What? I mean, obviously, it's set in the future. Is oh, yeah. What? I'm sorry. Us true artists have ascended to another method of communication. One that a peasant like you wouldn't understand. That's kind of asshole thing to say, but fine. Okay, uh, see ya. Yeah. Enjoy your thing. Just Bye, walk away, Rick. 
<laughs> Just walk away. Take it like a man. She said no. Don't don't uh, don't go on out killing her or something, right? <laughs> like, don't it succumb to the dark nice thoughts. I'm gonna take an LSD and wrap a fucking belt around my neck. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Gordo, Cultivation Dungeon Dweller. I've lived in this dungeon for years, decades, and now these prodigy children think they can walk in here and just start gentrification. Really nilly. They've driven up dungeon grime corners up by 10,000%. How are my mitosis copies of myself going to afford them in the future? I'm going to write a long and angry letter to the local dungeon council and get this sorted out. Yeah, you do that, buddy. Yeah. Ooh. Wine and nibbles. Ah, oh, yes. Nice. Free wine and nibbles. The only reason people come to art exhibitions. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Not sure I want to eat dungeon food. It's a eat personal it. rule I have. Ah, don't be a little bitch. They probably put box wine into a glass bottle, so it looks better. <laughs> I think this piece means that fish which have feelings taste much better. Thus, you should take them out to dinner to get to know them first. Oh, fuck, man. Then proceed to have them for dinner. <laughs> the backstab. Hello, fishman. Are you more of a man or a fish? Maybe you go by manfish instead. Maybe boyfish. Ladyfish? Fishfish. Man, man? I give up. Local conspiracy theorists said this is where our water supply comes from. They also said our president is a mutated rat. Since when did having a tail and enjoying cheese mean you were a mutated rat? Yeah. Conspiracy theories, Looks man. like this is the uh, only thing holding us up. Man, that skull likes to live dangerously, on the edge. Is that pony guy on the I look? totally want to party <laughs> with that oh, skull. Yeah. No partying with a skull! Things. Society is okay. It's, uh, <laughs> You can't see a room with a dude adjusting a light dimmer switch. It's not just adjusting the dimmer switch, you are glad. Oh, great, another what one. What is it then? By adjusting the. Yeah, I don't care. Hey, wait! I'm a damn. I knew I should have worn some sort of dumb headband. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's alright, huh? Except for that uh, weird mutation in Luxembourg where they managed to transcend human evolution, basically Surrey becoming famous, demigods uh, and threatening our entire existence. Other than that, pretty good. Uh, what's her name? Ah, <sighs> oh, yeah, Marina Abramovic. That's a fucking crazy one. When you can't pay your bills. You know how she got and famous, right? Don't want how? to cry in the dark. Uh, well, uh, she got famous for two performances, as far as I can recall, in Belgrade. One time, during, you know, Yugoslavia, Communist Yugoslavia, she carved a, uh, a fucking, you know, five-pointed Communist star in her stomach or whatever. Ew. And we're just standing there naked in the middle of the city. <laughs> she was ha-ha, she was, she was okay. Got taken away. Uh, another time, I think she did something with an ice cube, where she was lying on an ice cube. Naked, and obviously because she was naked, people would get around <laughs> <laughs> Next. Either way, dungeon, after that, this crazy one. bitch goes outside of the, the country and makes a fucking career in France and the USA. Savage <laughs> planks of wood, of course. Now the chances oh, of sleeping and dying are only 7%. Is this an art piece commenting on how society is being slowly flushed away? Not really. That's just an actual toilet. Feel free to use it. Never mind Barishki over there. He likes to watch sometimes. She's right, you know. Yeah. Hey, there's a price tag on here. Three hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Dave and Dan's dilapidated Ford. Premium the public beauty by share. Premium price. I got mine for seventy. Very cheap. I've nice. I've heard of this guy before. Magic melancholy. His target demographic is heartbroken wizards. Financially, he doesn't do well. Mostly because wizards are known for digital piracy. Oh, <laughs> hey, look! I, uh... Can't you see you're interrupting my visionary performance? Do it again and I will continue to scream! Wait. 
Imagine evading injured territory and you hear this in the middle of night. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Uh, who are you? I'm the man in the wall! What are you doing in the wall? The job market's pretty unstable at the moment. Turns out you can live quite frugally on the inside of a wall. I like your lighting choice. Thanks! I try my best to capture the insane man in a wall. These are Americans right now, and they still insist on not having free healthcare. <laughs> <laughs> What do you Turns do out, all day? Turns out, I can live very frugally Mostly I tell people I'm the man <laughs> in the wall. But when that starts to run dry, I've got this mobile phone which has snake on it. Even Tetris. Oh, nice. I've got the high score. Sweet. Yeah, yeah because baby. Because I'm the only man in the wall. But high score. Hell yeah. Uh, Later, student mall. Rubble. Married one thing. We got living in a barrel. Philosopher. Fucking the algae, man. <laughs> what was it the best by twenty percent? What cancers? I get the two mixed up all the time. I believe this is a piece commenting on how construction workers are slowly morphing into their tools because of a curse which is cast when they were kicked out of the union. Never take away witches' rights for. Her. Five weeks paid vacation. That's right. Let's see. Let's use screw that or hammerhead. I'm kind of impressed that they're actually hitting the wall that hard. Nothing like risking brain damage for the sake of art. Yeah, just like football players. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, American football players. Don't they all have like you know, like maybe five times the higher risk for uh, Alzheimer's and stuff like that? And brain oh, yeah. diseases. Yeah. Oh, God damn. It was a cover for multiple screws. Deep, I know. It really yes. isn't. Admit, <laughs> this flat screwdriver is too big for these smaller screws. If I was a magic user, this wouldn't be a problem. Luckily, we know there's a cursed plant that can make you small. Thank That's God magic excuse. does exist. Pull out of your pants and go. Oh, it's like, it's like I swear it was me, baby. It was a plan. <laughs> Have you ever been to an art exhibition? Or... Uh, By yeah, destroying that's this my old art, school. Do I become? Nice. I actually made some art myself. Or is life just one oh, big whoa, performance you, you for show it off, probably. interdimensional <laughs> beings? <laughs> if you still have it. We will never oh, Rick, what, what, what the fuck are you doing? Unless you join a cult that claims otherwise. Rick, just accept the no. Rick, don't fuck it. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Did I just murder someone? <laughs> so, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a relief. I should have this fought the last more time I've been catfished. <laughs> I probably could have just asked nicely and got the soil that way. She told me Instead she was gonna burn her meat. That's true. Ah, self defense. Yeah. According to American law, which is the only law that matters. Yeah, you can't trust our foes. Yep. They Thanks have... for the nutritious soil. This ain't no place for no hero. <laughs> 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 All our foes have very short fuse when it comes to their nerves and dead issues. Lots of dead issues. Let's see. I think, Who do you think is crazy that psychology girls or art hoes? The psychology girls will always like uh, try to fuck with you, but uh, art hoes will want you to fuck them. I see. I see. Yeah, I guess I guess that's why they're they're going to psychology to harness the power or whatever to, whatever mess them up, right? Yep. When it comes to um, art hoes, is like you know they're just accepting their you know. Position. Yeah, psychology Charming girls work. fuck with you, psychology <laughs> art hoes fuck you. <laughs> I had one of my exes that did that, that channeled her suffering into art. Her name was uh, Taylor Swift. And uh, every time we would have a fight, she would make an album about me. You probably heard of her, she's kind of famous now. Sure. Yeah. This is exactly what I need to get rid of. But on the back it says I need some nutritious soil. Don't worry, we got that shit. 
Instant tree, okay bra. Vigorous growth, no black magic involved, pure science, lower chance of ripping apart universe than our competitors. Just oh. add soil and grow. All you need is Wu Tangerine. Ah, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> because of the. I wonder why is there like a Wu Tang fucking symbol? Yeah. Wu Tangerine soil. <laughs> 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 and you can instantly grow an instant tree in any time, anywhere. Wu Tangerine soil ain't nothing too expensive that you cannot use with it. Hmm. Farmer Barker tipped Grow in a sunny, well lit area to guarantee to keep the tree happy and content. Otherwise, it will enact revenge on your family. Guarantee, if you are not completely satisfied, we will gladly ignore all your complaints. Generous, we know. But you, the customer, are always borderline insane. <laughs> oh, fuck wow. it out. How nice of Does it uh, still hurt? Does what still hurt? The fact that your head is fused to your stomach and your limbs inverted. Oh, that hurt! <laughs> I forgot about that. I actually feel better. I had some back pain, but now it's gone. Who thought it would take being broken by an interdimensional rift in time and space, and then being put back together would be a cure for chronic back pain? I'm already in talks with Big Pharma <laughs> to be torn apart to space and time in pill form. Oh. Did you help make me? <laughs> no, dude. I got employed after the original guy died in a hot coffee accident. It was super messy. To be honest with you, I'm not even a scientist, dude. It's just that my word processing skills are on point. Fonts you've never even seen before. Oh, nice. Clip art to make your eyes explode with awe. And borders, which will tickle you in places you never knew you had. I bet his PowerPoint skills are off the charts. Don't you oh, feel goodness. guilty working here? <laughs> Not really, man. I don't really do anything but yeah. make hot pockets I just and play fantasy one MMOs top on the supercomputer. <laughs> In fact, you could even say I'm a hero, slowly draining funds from Dupa Genetics. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. What is the meaning of science? Finding new aliens to make love to. Wait. That's just space theme RPGs. Oh, they're right. Yeah, to be honest, I have no idea, dude. What was Lost Weakness again? <sighs> Come on, man, you're giving me bad vibes. All right, so he's a genetically engineered sloth. Right. But they couldn't remove all his natural instincts, of which course. include wanting to do nothing all day and chilling on trees. Ah, hence the tree. To trigger his tree. instincts, you need to get a huge tree in his room. That's ridiculous. Let's be honest. There's all sorts of messed up stuff here. Anyway, you will also need to get inside his room, which has a locked door. But there is a doggy door, which is opened by the local cult leader's tag. You yeah. need to get this off him somehow. He should be back from his daily binge. That's about oh. it. Hmm. Well, I got, got bad news about the local cult leader. <laughs> yeah, he's accidentally perhaps dead. Or maybe not. I've got the necklace, yeah. the dirt, and the seeds. It's a puzzle, awesome. even if it survives. Go talk to the rebel leader. Have you found any benefits from this whole disfigurement thing yet? Yeah, I don't have to pull my back to. Su you know what? <laughs> Let's talk about something else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Virgin blowjob versus the chat cell suck. <laughs> See you, man. Uh, fingers crossed you don't die in the next couple of hours. Thanks. However, I'm more worried about finding fashionable items that will still fit me. Yo, move your fucking power move. Uh, taking out the girl, you know, want to hook up with her. She doesn't want to give you a blowjob. <laughs> I just fucking start doing it himself in front of her. I don't need you, bitch. <laughs> what hell of a fucking power move. <laughs> <laughs> she just stands there and all. Fuck it all. <laughs> Fuck it all. I've got all the stuff to take down Olaf. Congratulations! Alright, so the master plan is... Uh... To be honest, I was just thinking about what I was she going to do for dinner. She has one of the dinner. cat's eyes. Hang on, okay, the advisors weird. tell me that they actually do have a plan. Alright. So all you I need to Elon do Musk is walk in there and someday. plant the seeds. The advisors actually went in there earlier and made their mark on the carpet. 
They say that's probably the best yeah. place. If they went in there already, it's probably uh, why don't they toothpick, just huh? It adds Look, to your like Ryan Gosling sex appeal. You got to do it yourself. Hey, want a toothpick? <laughs> All you need to do is go to the lobby, get through I the last hallway, and then you're at his lair. Then you I take almost down chewed, uh, Do choked on a toothpick once. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. my mom kept warning you about that shit, and it inevitably happens, right? Yep. Because yep. you forget the about that, you do something stupid either. Going to be some super dope cheese platters, by the way. Shit. How good is cheese? Anyway, good luck, Paradigm. You're our third hope out of four. You mean there's more of me? Not exactly. You're just our third plan. First plan Whoa. was an internet petition. They never work. Change.org. Yeah, we already had another mutated prodigy child come through here. Uh, we won't talk about that. Oh, God damn it. Time to never finish my electronic music album and continue procrastinating. I, I mean, uh, save the world from one genre of music and entertainment. <laughs> like, the, he's one of his music albums, or was it? Let's see. Ooh, ooh, not menu. Yeah, you gotta put, uh, pull out the dupe organizer. Let's see. Music. Musica. Oh, there's a missing track. Oh, that's a shame. Well, wait, I think that might be it, but we got the workout album. Welcome to Paradigm's Workout Mix. Yeah. Get ready to feel the burn in your muscles, not from the workout, but from all the beautiful people who try to rub against you after you're looking amazing doing this routine. Oh yeah, this happens all right, the time everyone. in the gym. Let's get warmed up. Stretch your arms, your legs, and all your unnameable limbs if you have them. Nice. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Repeat, stretch, stretch, stretch. stretch. All right, time to pump it. You know, but hard. Up, down, down, left, right, right, fighter, combo, bicycle, kick. Phew! Are you feeling it? Oh, I yeah. know I am. Let's keep going. Push it, push it, push it, pull it, pull it. Look at, look at, pick up, talk to, keep that energy going. Imagine yourself now as a famous celebrity with a perfect body reading their social media comments. Deflect that different. Deflect that different. <laughs> Deflect that different. <laughs> block, 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 block. Phew. I think that's enough for this session. If you have passed out from the workout, the next track will continue to play a high pitched noise designed to wake you up. Thanks for listening. <laughs> nice. Now we need to go to the lobby. Oh, this is an accurate workout music. <laughs> the flag that death threat. <laughs> Push it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we need to use this one here. The tag. Messiah. Good. Great. Fantastic. Couldn't have opened the regular door. Now I'll have to find some oil and lever it on my naked body to squeeze through. Yeah. Nudity is allowed. However, oil is where duper genetics draws the line. The punishment is remedial massage till death. Damn you and your conservative ways. I'll have to find another way. We'll use the cursed flowers. Also takes you an eternity to walk all the way over there. <laughs> and here I thought that I could speed run this thing. <laughs> yeah, you could, you should. Oh shit, it's all off. Better on shrink. Then guard the imbecilius. time and you had a lot of fun if you would like to continue playing paradigm dlc we need more money the kickstarter was not enough please input your credit card number when the time prompts unlike the full version the dlc is paid a point and click please purchase the 20,000 clicks now for the low price of 29.99 
Otherwise, feel free to play our ad free to play version. All you need to do is press the ad viewer button 10,000 times. Thank you very much, brother. Oh, man. I don't have a credit card on me. However, Spare what any I bitcoins? do know is elaborate <laughs> credit card online. and device games. All the I only games that allow you to railplay as a homeless effect in real time. All profits go to the actual homeless. Oh, that's nice. Whoa. Let's press this oh, 10,000 times. Minute, I, didn't, I didn't get a penny out of this. What the fuck? <laughs> you gotta help. Just... 90... 9,900 more. Let's go. I can do this. Let's see. Rick's famous I... determination now. He never gives up. Oh, yeah. I mean, last time he gave up after like 50 clicks. Hold on. I, I can do more. I can do 100 clicks. Or 200 okay. more. Hold on. This this is what I do when I use uh, cheats and mountain blade. When I need to assign like skill points. You're just clicking a little bit faster. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can I do it. it. I, I thought he was gonna pull out. I thought he was gonna pull out some fucking script or something that's gonna click ten thousand times in like one yeah, second. Get out the clicker or some shit. I <laughs> keep presented as a superpower. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this. Okay, Start maybe not. Clicking with his index finger. You know, this is my special clicking finger. <laughs> for special emergencies. <laughs> Clicking 15% faster. <laughs> uh, hello? You are not permitted to be here. No one is. Not even me. Well, I am actually, but I wanted to drive the point home. Anyway, leave. No. Otherwise, I will be forced uh, to trash can to you. Till you leave. Fuck that shit. We had voice activate trash can at work, and it was the most fucking retarded thing I've ever seen. <laughs> you guys, you guys, you guys, we should join the U.S. fucking oh, Navy God. and become American oh, citizens in like a year. A we... Yes, Stamper explained it to me yesterday. Oh, <laughs> oh, Basically, yeah. just, you, you can join the U.S. Coast Guard or Navy, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, uh, and like after like one year, you were if you're in, the, you were like joining the military through the military, right? Yeah. Uh, through the naturalization oh, process, or whatever it's called, uh, you can apply for citizenship. I it's like see. skipping fucking three or what was it, five years, right? Yeah. So it's like basically fucking Rome, man. <laughs> you have to serve <laughs> for your citizenship. It's pretty fucking cool. I it is, right? Worse, but apparently the Navy is good with, like, when it comes to giving them. Yeah, and I mean, you know, it's fucking peacetime, right? So it's like, it's a fucking steal. <laughs> Oh, you're you're in the fucking navy. Nobody's gonna touch you, man. That's <laughs> <laughs> the last time an American ship has actually been in fucking danger. Never. Fucking hundred years ago, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, some beer turns up. I'll get my chug on. Well, yeah, this is a pretty interesting thing. Uh, Rick's solving a puzzle. Let's see. Uh oh. Who are you? Oh, we're solving a puzzle. We might as well go on a break. Prodigy then. children. Originally a water heater, but that time is long gone. I now have wheels. Gor Three inch rims, baby. Three inch rims, baby. <laughs> Fucking, what was it? Are Hot you thing, sentient basically? water like the rest of the robots? Yes. Gariachia. Originally, I was a water heater. Hot it was thing. a pretty good gig. Huh. There's nothing <laughs> like making people Then we could like all wet. walk around in like Damn United bad. States flag shirts and sunglasses workers. and little flags <laughs> <laughs> and be like, go, go USA! It's not too bad. Go USA. I'm smashing good person. lights at the porch Funny, with my bodies. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you should leave. I come originally from Europe, but now I'm American. Let's <laughs> see. Why does the show... Dual sh is dual citizenship a thing in America? Yes. Probably. Yeah. There we go, fuck. But essentially, you're always gonna have to pay, I think, federal taxes. Alright, the taxes, uh, right. Oh. American citizenship is gonna be hard to get rid of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you actually want to. Yeah, yeah. Finally, I did it. Ah, land. <laughs> what do you mean, federal taxes? Huh? <laughs> oh, <Yeah. shit. laughs> I want back help. <laughs> um, Steven Seagal has American, Serbian, and Russian citizenship, so probably, yeah. He's a nutcase, man. <laughs> yeah. What, what do you mean he's an upcase? Don't fucking talk trash about Serbia's greatest actor. <laughs> <laughs> he said he, to Putin, he said he's Russian. <laughs> nah, you're just mad he ain't Latvian. 
I'm fucking happy he ain't Latvian. Ah, <laughs> no. Uh, no, I'm lying. I fucking wish he was Latvian. That would be such a fucking meme. Uh, Crocodile Dundee was based on a, a true, actual Latvian, though. I thought Crocodile Dundee was Australian. No, uh, no. Well, Australian isn't really uh, ethnicity now, is it? Yes, it's it full. Like, no, it's not. Shut up. It's uh, a fucking <laughs> you gotta be a fucking convict, right? Shut up, you fucking emu. <laughs> It's a fucking trade union out of comics. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why a Latvian is the most infamous one. Uh. Why does the shower get cold when someone flushes the toilet? My people have been searching for an answer to that question for many years. To no avail. We are yet to be able to operate internet searching systems. Do you have a kind of sibling rivalry with the water cooler? No, actually, we were quite good friends, but I heard that some monster drank him to Oops. death. That's my fault. The same guy convinced <laughs> another comrade to commit suicide. Such a terrible world we live in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you should leave. How do I murder you like the rest of the henchmen? Well, you see, you just... Uh, hey, wait a minute. What? You should leave! What is this place? It's basically where we grow and store all the prodigy children we have. Hmm. What do you do here? What do you do here? Me? Well, I yeah, me. the broken equipment and general maintenance. I'm pretty bad at it, on account of having no arms. The main reason I'm here is to send out the shop orders. If they rigged up a button I can just roll on. It's effing sweet. I'm basically a baby maker. Do you <laughs> even know how babies are made? Yeah! When 100 people love each other very much, 100 being the upper limit, they mash together their DNA and pay at least half a million dollars for genetic sequencing. Why would you even ask me that question? Hmm, do you ever want to do anything else? Did you ever want to do anything else? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I just wanted to be a part of a family. I send kids to their parents almost daily through that shoot. Sometimes I wish I was one of them. But who wants a half-ton child? No one. Oh, chin up, or uh, <laughs> dials up, whatever. <laughs> Though, honestly, just follow your dreams. Yeah, at least I still have a job to do. Yeah, following me around. Can I ask you something else? Okay. Uh, how do you behave? How do you feel go. about the Dupa Genetics plan? Lukewarm, frankly. I like neither wrestling nor glam metal. However, I heard that their education policies are some of the greatest ever made. Hmm, that's nice. Laters. Okay, don't come back now. Oh, well, come back, alright. Let's see, so... We need to combine the shoe with the toxic sludge? Where is it? It's burning away the glue. Nice. Yeah, boy! We got our wrench. And now, what else do we need? I think these are recording the Portage Child growth patterns. One of them is growing into a shark boy. Nice. Some people really take their street shark cartoon nostalgia too far. Hey, street sharks were a very good cartoon. Don't talk shit about it. Whoa, these are all like my brothers and sisters. My heart is feeling all warm and fuzzy. Partly because I can claim some more government payouts. But yeah, the uh, other feely stuff too. Oh, who knows of you? I feel there is a more economical way to move these prodigy chat boxes. You know, other than violently sucking them up a vent. It's a sliding panel. Oh yeah, slidey. I am the 
the destroyer of the gears. Nice. If only I existed in a steampunk world, I'd break shit up. Now just to turn the machine on. Say goodbye, heater machine. Your days of following me around and not doing stuff ends here. I really hope the family receiving them will mistake them for a prodigy child. They were a pretty nice person overall. Yes. Water heater, dinner's ready! Mullet insurance, mullet loop. <laughs> Lots of mullet stuff. I'm glad to see that they bothered to set up maintenance. Even if it is a talking water heater with no way of repairing anything. Who's making these decisions? Who knows? I guess it's there for emergencies. The various crudely drawn six hotline numbers scratching through the side say otherwise. No, Bob. I am not looking for a good time. <laughs> Alright, now we just have to use... This one, to scam the old lady. I'm glad I kept that glam metal nun's number. Alright, let's do this. Scamming time! Oh god, I feel so terrible. The lesser evil. Agnes, my name is Brian Smith, and I am from Krush National Antivirus and I- Oh, you need my credit card number. I'll oh, give you my credit it. card number. Oh, but easy. Miss, don't you want to hear what I need it for? Nah, that's quite all right, young man. You sound very nice. Here it is. 512331512231311. Bye. Oh shit. Well, that was uncomfortably easy with a sprinkling of ethical issues. Oh, come on. This is making me feel worse. You have a lot. Not like this. <laughs> Not like this. I would definitely like this. Hey, big sloth head dude. My credit card is 5123315122311. Congratulations. You just purchased 400,000 clicks. Account balance now, minus $12 million. You will be in debt for approximately 10,000 years. Oh man. Nice. I feel even worse. Well, she's almost dead anyway. I guess she doesn't have much longer left. Especially within that messed up church. Door unlocked. Gross. Probably the worst host I've ever encountered. Didn't even clean up his place. What a mess. No welcoming snacksies? I'm going to write the worst review online. People will think twice before saving the world here. <laughs> Might as well go look around while I wait. I never knew Kupu's made chunder. For those days you just don't want to vomit. Keep one in the cupboard handy. This one's a bit beat up though. Oh, jeez. That mouse is super jacked. Do you need any lifting tips, brah? <laughs> Hello, totally jacked mouse. Hey, it's one of those potato batteries. They banned these in Krush. Using potatoes for anything other than food and vodka is a serious offense. What about catch it? I mean, it's literal catch it, but yeah, whatever. I think this is what the telepathic cats meant when they said they left a mark. I guess that's what happens when you don't have any opposable thumbs. At least it is good for the soil. Oh, nice. It's a head sculpture of Mr. U. In 2021, they tried to reboot the A-Team again. The real Mr. T cost too much, so they just cloned him. Hmm. Very reasonable. He 
He really did love that Klaus guy. Klaus mix. Klaus, I think you're the coolest, so I made this mix CD for you. It's full of disco hits I know you love. Also, a bit of glam metal. I know you're not a huge fan, but I love it anyway. Since you're my dad, technically, I want to go want to go play catch. Uh, maybe something closer to your Swedish customs. Go have a me meal at IKEA. Some <clears throat> wrapping and pillaging. But we all know what that actually means. If it had one less P. What the hell? Oh look, it's a little paradigm. Very beast. Part of me really wants to put my tongue on it. It took me three weeks to stop licking a 9 volt battery last time. I better not. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so, how was oh, your we, debate? We have, we have exhausted the topic, okay? <laughs> <That's back in. laughs> I think this is close. I'm not going to lie, that stash alone <laughs> makes me wish I could Wait, meet you. Ralph said, the whole making oh, me thing is us? secondary. Oh wow, he was like, the retard came to ruin the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It's a security camera terminal of... Holy shit, I'm with the doubt. And that is why you should respect humans. They're not brutally murder them. Oh. Even in light of injustices, they have brought upon our people. This guy's fucking negotiating. <laughs> <laughs> the art of deal. Yeah, baby. Oh yeah, our little space cadet. Good ending. <laughs> yep. Just yes. little uh, JFK Space Center. <laughs> <laughs> Living the dream, full of space yeah. dust. Scarface. <laughs> okay, these guys are doing nothing. Doug, just look at it. Rochelle 3103 oh. Big frag. I've never felt so turned on before. Most of the time, I'm on power save. This is great, oh, yeah. but so inefficient. I'm so conflicted as a server. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> John turned my home into a robot brothel. I would do. It's, God damn it. it's a very nice idea, actually. Mm. Also, a more pressing matter. Why are there cameras everywhere? Why not? Oh god, how long have they been there? I have to find the tapes and burn them. Mankind should not be subject to my shameful personal rituals. <laughs> hmm? Oh, hey man. Heard you want to murder me. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> You're looking for the next paradigm. Many questions must be running through your mind. Let's see. Does your week have a name? Does your week have a name? Yes. It's called Kill Yourself. <laughs> Ouch. Wow. This might be inappropriate. But I was wondering if I could get some sloth cuddles. I've been thinking about it since I first heard of you. What? I'm not a huge cuddle guy. Also, what the hell? I would never cuddle with you. Well, that's what it just mean. Why are there cameras everywhere in Krush? If my life is a reality TV show, I hope to be paid handsomely. No, no. Krush is not a reality television show. Although, in hindsight, I feel kinda dumb for not doing that. If I didn't need to dissect you, I'd probably put you on the creative team for duper genetics. Anyway, Krush was a town created to observe and research failed prodigy children. Space Cadet, the drug dealer, the cone, they are all horrible, magnificent failures of the prodigy child program. But you, Paradigm, you were special. You of course, were I'm the not main character. In Whoa. fact, you were the end game of the Prodigy Child program. 
class's golden child. The world's <laughs> salvation. Uh... Don't you see I'm monologuing here? <laughs> I've been writing this for days. I even had everyone from the facility proofread it. I put a lot of work into it. Please, listen. Anyway, money and power never mattered to class. He wanted to make the world a better place. He wanted to create the perfect human. The perfect human being to lead us to a utopian society. That is why he made you Paradise. <laughs> <laughs> he truly believed mankind's greatest trait was empathy and that the perfect human being needed to experience dire circumstances to evolve into that. There is only so much genetic programming can do to shape one's soul. Lame. As you can <laughs> gather, this is why you are truly hideous, Paradigm. Ouch. Shocking. Terrifying. Vomit-inducing. Okay, okay, calm Makes down. Makes me want to dig out my uh, eyeballs. Douse my head in acid. Feels like opening my tender. If you uh. had a mother, <laughs> she would probably sell you for a pack of ciggies. <laughs> hey, you got a pack of ciggies, man? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will send me spiraling into a deep depression. <laughs> you were class's obsession, <laughs> Paradigm. He nearly drove the company into the ground, constructing you. What about me? What about poor old Olaf? Yeah, I cares. exist solely to vomit out candy bars. What kind of life is this? I beast. loved class mm. more than you ever could have. <laughs> Blech. <laughs> when he died, I knew it wasn't from diabetes following his severe candy addiction. It was the stress from making you. After he went, I had nothing left. So I did the only thing I could. Carried on my father's dream of the perfect world. I tried to remove you from all of this. I tried to kill you, but I just couldn't. And now, ironically, you will fulfill his ultimate plan, eventually achieving Class's dream. Let's see. I have to address some video tapes. Let's see, have you much longer to go? Can I find speech online so I can take those later on? Let's see, oh, yes, I know do that. I have to go return some videotapes. I swear to God, Paradigm. <laughs> try to interrupt me again. Should I? Do it. Go just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna hear about my beatboxing eggplant? Ah, <laughs> enough! I guess that threat was pretty empty. <laughs> I still want to finish my monologue before I kill you, because <laughs> Father adored you so much. I continued observing you for many years. I tried to figure out why Class thought you would be so great. Maybe even try and be more like you. Your existence disgusted me. <laughs> but in spite of everything, there was one thing I wanted to take away from you. Even after your death, I will become the greatest electronic musician the world has ever seen. Oh, shit. Sure. No, Not you. That's my dream. You and in bitch. honor of class, I will kill you to the sweet sound of disco synth and lasers. Time to do the murder boogie. W wait, uh, hold up. Before you kill me, can I ask some questions? Oh yes, because dialogue choices and all that. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, did you, uh, hold on. Did you, uh, see me do that thing? That thing I do alone when I think no one is watching? Yes. 
No. I didn't even know that was possible. Oh. Or that people can even <laughs> stoop that low. Okay. No, I was I'm sick for weeks. Don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> What's up with the whole glam metal and wrestling thing? The thing is, Klaas didn't even like glam metal. Well, I yeah, tried to gay. get him to listen multiple times, but he never took to it. Always talking about electronic disco music. God damn disco! Anyway, I needed to pick a genre to control the masses. And I didn't know anything else. I was hoping there would be a deeper meaning to it than that. <laughs> How about glam metal represents the hyperbole and excess in our modern lives. A way to look at ourselves and See from another perspective, where we are headed as a collective race. See, not that hard to strain a narrative out of your actions. Hmm. Why are you constantly vomiting out candy? Father only made me for one purpose. To be a living candy machine. The only reason he imbued the candy making gene in me was because I was what was left lying around after some laboratory tests. Hence the reason he constantly calls me trash. Oof, that's me. Are you sure you want to kill me? Klaus probably loved you, but he was just too manly to say it. No, no. He told me multiple times that I was trash to him. He even made me sit and watch a three-hour <laughs> PowerPoint presentation about why I'm worthless and I'm only good for making candy. Oh, mate. <laughs> I remember when I used to sit through, like, a four-hour PowerPoint presentation. That shit was crazy. Did your mom make that one? Nah, it was mathematics in my school oh, presentation. Okay. That was even worse. At least with my, my mom, I could fucking drink, like, beer when she wasn't looking. <laughs> I, I am back, friends. Ah, Welcome good. back, friend. Why didn't Time you to mute. <laughs> to be honest, Darling, do you I want to be YouTube watching friends? a TV show? Uh oh, oh Suddenly, slogan. It was three seasons later. I mean, wait. I had Why so did my much profile to disappear? <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Guys, you can't wait. log in. What was it? Man-eating mutant finds multiple wives for eternal servitude. He just ends up eating them. The sloth looks like I a, feel bad for what's him. it called? The mattress seller. <laughs> it looks very Swedish to me. I think that's the uh, shtick that he's Swedish. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Say that right so right? I noticed that your facility leaks radioactive liquid. <laughs> Mine too. We have so much in common. What? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> just making some small talk, you know. Uh, get the words flowing. Enough. Uh, let's get this over with. By the way, Paradigm, you acquired 243 shit guy points, <laughs> and thus triggered the evil ending. Oh no. To rectify this, you must scour all night long through fan-made wikis and read up on the most obscure forums to get every single ending possible. <laughs> no, not really. Just messing with you. Oh, good. Life is just a linear experience in which you are in no control of any of your actions. No free choice. Just an endless, infinite cycle. No, oh, that's in what, which you are oh, what it is with point and click games. Repeat all your mistakes. <laughs> Telltale games. <laughs> endings. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> as a part of endings, you can choose. Choose your ending, fan ending. Gonna be alright. What no. <laughs> oh. It was all a dream. <laughs> I like when the fucking movies pull, pull that shtick, like, oh, it was all just a dream, and people just get fucking mad and go on ready to complain about it. What's gonna happen with fan ending? All the I right saw your rage post it's posting on Reddit on <laughs> You want to talk I'm about to it? I'm to say goodbye you, uh, with the sweet tunes of synth disco. Oh. May it haunt you in the afterlife. Engage disco lasers! Pause time.
And with that, I saw my life flash before my eyes. <laughs> and post time. I forgot about the anti assassination force field. Turns out it works both ways. Oh, good. Hey, Paradise. Do you walk mind out of the walking door? a little closer? Mm -hmm. Let's see. You're I going to die, Paradise. That potato power is whole class. Thing. Will <laughs> die <laughs> oh, oh, wait. I remember in that children's book, full of vomited candy. Gross. Hey! I've been saving that for reanimated class. I have five Baba Yagas working around the clock to bring him back from the dead. So far, <laughs> they've spent my advance on vodka and mushrooms. I still believe, though. Let's see, we need a bunch of energy I think that is enough candy. I don't yeah. want to become a diabetic too. And two protein bars. Yes. Now we need to unplug the potato. Potato science is the work of the devil. I carve heavy devil, which lends me my large love handles. Damn it, Paradigm! Powering the laser was all that potato had! <laughs> what is he going to tell his potato family? Just plug it back in, so I can kill you. Yeah, nah. Yeah, you guys think Stamper might be as secretly a US recruiter? <laughs> I hope hey. so. Bro, we see you've got some really those cups of muscles. coffee at the moment. You should really, really have carved up my cat <laughs> <and> tolerance. <laughs> wow, I look at that pump. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, big boy. <laughs> Feeling a bit peppier. Not bad. Let's still go for another. I don't want to give him the satisfaction. <laughs> Feeling it a bit more. Uh, I could finish at least three last minute essays. I'm gonna go to Ralph's house and I'm plugging the potato for power in his house. Come on, don't do it. I need it. Come on, man, don't do that. Mm. My heart sure feels like death right now. I'm pushing the human body to the limit for the good of mankind. I could still go for another. I think I can see through time. Whoa. Oh God. What is happening? Uh -oh. Jesus Christ, what's going on? I feel jacked already. I've got to go to a music festival before this wears out. <laughs> <laughs> Here are some more protein, you cute oh, you're beef fucking fast, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. My oh, body shit, is shit. now ready to experience a new level of body dysmorphia. Damn it, Chad. Keep pedaling. <laughs> I need the power for the laser to kill Paradigm. Sorry, bro. My thighs are too jacked. Oh, God. Ooh. The laser's He's gonna be shit. Be <laughs> <laughs> Stupid anti-assassination shield. That'll teach me to be paranoid about being killed. Fuck! <laughs> laser death is isn't so bad. Lasers are offline. Particularly oh, this energy laser. bars are wearing off. It too. just boils all your Time organs to the except your brain into a yeah. fine. Oh, where was their mark again? Oh man! Really? I don't really have a plan B here. Who knew you were so good at solving puzzles? Yes, it I just didn't. one Google search and wiki and that's it. From the security cam vision, <laughs> I'm actually shocked you managed to survive this whole time. Ever since we dumped you there. Who's in my stuff? I have more pressing matters to attend to right now than to examine Ulo. I should get like a, an unsolvable puzzle for Rick. make you so dirty. Yeah. Pretend that it's solvable and like everyone's done it. I should probably Watch save what this for do. defeating Ulo. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, Ralph, uh, where's the walker for this tic-tac-toe gang? <laughs> <laughs> Loves GRPGs. <laughs> Let's see. So about to grow a tree. Catch it. Almost time to stop this procrastination journey. Hey, hang on a second. 
What is that dirt for? No biggie. I just like placing dirt around. You know, I'm just a quirky guy. You're lying! That's it, <laughs> Paradigm. I'm going to crush you with my chair. Prepare for pain. Come on, man. Don't be like this. I don't know, he's chasing me with a chair. I'm gonna get ya! I'm gonna get ya! Oh, he's getting really close. I really would like to cuddle you, but, you know, when you don't want to kill me. Well, I'm all out of ideas. Would you consider just killing yourself? It would make things a lot easier. It would mean a lot to me. It's tempting. <laughs> However, I regret to inform you, I respectfully decline. Shit! Alright, well, I'm just going to go online and post on forums to see what the next step is. Oh, Come wait. back tomorrow, the Rick way. and I should have some <laughs> Rick Rick in this game. <laughs> <laughs> you found yourself an equal match, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> he can, he can hello, go Google too. Hello, <laughs> internet. Ah, oh, plus. Oh, he's on Reddit. I am looking to kill someone ASAP. What do you think is the best way? Can anyone give me a tutorial <laughs> over <laughs> Skype? Signed Pusslayer25123. Go kill yourself. Huh. That wasn't very helpful. That wasn't very helpful. Oh, he's on 4chan. <laughs> Man, that wasn't very helpful. I really hope this works. Did you just plant an instant tree? Oh, God. Why did I stock that in the vending machine? I better stand back. Oh, good. <laughs> nice. God bless Dupa's guaranteed 80% product failure rate. Maybe I'll just hire a hitman from the deep web. How does that sound, Paradigm? Wait, something is happening. Uh-oh. I... 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 This tree is so beautiful. I love trees. Good job, Paradigm. Thanks. Wait. What the hell? How did you get through there? What? What's that girl's oh, name? Oh, turns <laughs> out there is another entrance. I'm pretty mad right now. Like I can't yes, even emote. Google rule 34 of her. Well, <laughs> you saved the world from an entertainment dictatorship. What are you going to do now? Probably... Probably should finish my EP. I think I brought the sport of procrastination to its peak, to be honest. I'm basically the procrastination king. May your reign last for thousands of years. Uh, After that true. whole pretending I'm dead thing, I didn't think Paradigm would buy me a car. I have to go think that OG. Especially so next time I can't pay rent, he'll be less mad. I should go ask John where he's at. Oh, nice. I planted the new plant. Fingers crossed, it's another one that talks. Preferably raps. I have always wanted to be in a hip hop duo. They always say that they will send it in a discreet package, but I know what Paradigm was ordering. That sick bastard. Who knew he was so into scrapbooking? What a goddamn pervert. <laughs> oh, so that's what he was doing all this time. At least the boiler is German, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what does hit that mean? Oh, nice. Alright. Paradigm continues to think of new ways to make himself as unsexy as possible. <laughs> Do you I'm sleep impressed. in the car? Car? 
A rice car. Hey, rice, rice car, car beds man. are fucking awesome. Vroom, vroom. <clears throat> I wish we had a double race car bed. This <laughs> Whoa. Where did Paradigm get all this new gear from? Does he have a new that big box in a plant that actually pays rent? There will be no more dropping of fat bits. I bet you guys didn't have one case. of those race car carpets. That's one of those broke tongues. <laughs> oh, I have those ones. Do we still have it? Oh, yeah. Nice. Hey, John, uh, have you seen let's, Paradigm? Let's go to Rick's house and play with his carpet. <laughs> That was the whole creepy dog chasing robot thing actually. going for you. Uh, funny you say that. Tom's a changed dog. Got my little missus here. I've fallen in love. I never knew the love a washing machine could give. She keeps me clean, figuratively, and literally. Oh, right. Uh, big ups to you, big man. Where did Paradigm get all this gear? Well, after the whole derpa genetics incident, Paradigm bloody buckled down. Serious. Wait, did he actually become successful? Yeah. Oh. 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 Nah. He just went and fizzled with the Dupa genetics and sold everything on Ibaiski. He what? <laughs> stole the car. He bought me a too. Although the place is basically worth nothing these days anyway. <laughs> so you got some bonzo wheels too. Let's see. Where can, I Where find can they find him? Oh yeah, old mate is heading out on tour. Oh bro, why didn't he invite me? He did, multiple times. You just kept beatboxing over him and pretended not to hear <laughs> since he thought he was asking for rent. Oh right. Where is he going exactly? He should still be at the buzzer stop down at the edge of town. Do you need directory days? Man, I can never understand the thing you're saying. Do you need help getting there? Yes, actually. You gonna hit that now? Yes, actually. Yes. <laughs> yeah, hit us up with the dits. Alright, mate. Just take a mizzer and walk down Old Borkovitz Road. Make a sharp bloody left on Dinky Derovitz Road. Then go Dinky left on Old Raza Road. Go through Crush Forest. Then continue through to Waffle Tunnel. Well, that didn't make any sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> a Dinky Rat. The refreshing breeze of nuclear fallout. Oh, there's a boy gun. <clears throat> Delicious boy guns. Couldn't get distracted by the boy gun, Rick. Stick to the mission. You may not pass! Hello, traveler. Rick Flora! You must answer these <laughs> riddles too. Or was it three? I'm not sure. Let's just I'm make it three for now. I. I have already passed the bridge. Oh, damn it, really? <laughs> yeah, sorry, Shannon. You're getting better at this every day. Watch a few more video tutorials and you'll be a real bridge troll. Ah, thanks for understanding, dog. It fits. <laughs> Is Republic of Pashinska's pride and joy, Luda Nava. First car in Eastern Europe to hail the tape deck. I lost my hip Whoa. opportunity in there. <laughs> Worst, there's always vodka and ciggies on these tables. Yogiski Bear is behind this. He has more substance in than the average bear. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Yogiski Bear. <laughs> Your can actually get. <laughs> There's like bears in Siberia hooked and sniffing the kerosene the Russians dump everywhere. <laughs> hey, 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 your gisky bear's gonna steal the means of production. <laughs> your gisky bear. The picnic basket. It's really nice to see that Paradigm is spending his money wisely. Graffiti murals are doing great in this economy. I remember hearing about this accident. A uh, bunch of rats managed to ride this in tandem. Apparently, they were brilliant drivers. It's everyone else that is terrible at merging. <laughs> woof woof tunnel. The government tried something different and asked the local pets for their opinion. <laughs> <laughs> and the 
fucking dog lobby is too strong. I'm a fucking yummy. <laughs> yep, there's a stick in a bag holding hands on the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. How about this? I think a little more beep boop would be better. Uh, good idea, actually. Well, 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 look who it is. My favorite unnutritious vegetable. Haven't you heard? Eggplants are now considered a part of the gangster family. None of these vegetables are actually fruit bullshit. If I wasn't so excited about this new track me and Olaf wrote, I would berate you about how stupid that is. I feel pretty left out, man. Not going to lie. Don't worry. You're going to be beatboxing in the interlude. Yeah, boy. Also, sorry about that whole beatbox ignoring thing. Oh, good, man. You're my boy. Damn it, bro. I'm gonna cry. Let's hear that new track. Oh man, well this was an enjoyable game, very nice.